hi there welcome back to the next video and in this video i will going to show you how you can produce the distribution plots using the seaborn library so we will look at some of the functionalities of uh, distribution and then finally how we can fit the probability some of the probability distributions like the gamma and the beta uh, which is more towards uh, plotting the probability distributions uh, that we will going to see so let's let's see how we can achieve it so first of all uh, we will going to import these three libraries the seaborn as sns pandas as pd and numpy as np and uh, before i move ahead maybe what i can do is ex increase the font by control plus these are the previous ones which i showed you earlier all right i think this should be good enough okay so let's execute this so sales dot pd dot uh, sales equals to pd dot read underscore axel uh, we're going to import the first sheet with the, of the sales dot xls file now uh, if you want to look at some of the rows if you have not seen my previous videos then sales dot head uh, what it shows is basically um a very close to a real life data set uh, which is having a lot of columns like uh, what is the order id order date priority sales discount profit customer name so on and so forth so so that we can do a lot of good analysis on this data set and you can find the link of the data set in the description all right so once we have this uh, what we can do is uh, produce a distribution plot on the numerical columns which is like uh, sales or the order quantity or profit and it gives us an indication about where uh, most of the values are lying or what is the distribution of the data so let's see it in action and then we, you can better understand so the first chart we will going to display is let's say on the sales values so i'll just come over here and it is sns dot dist plot and we will simply write one parameter which is sales which is the data set object and the variable name is sales all right if we execute this it will going to produce a chart like this where you see most of the values are concentrated which is uh, near to zero not exactly zero but near to the zero and then this particular value but since the bin size is a lot of bin size which shows the sales is in some cases going up to like 80000 and this shows that it is a right skewed distribution right similarly if you have uh, if you want to plot like any other variable simply write sns dot dist plot and say sales dot profit and that shows capital pre i guess all uh, right uh, sales dot profit d i s t okay so now if you see this is a relatively different distribution as compared to this one so in this case there is sales which is starting from zero nothing is going below to the zero but in case of profit uh, it is going even uh, below to the zero and in extreme cases even up to the 10000 so it shows a very good picture about uh, your data set uh, on the both side the positive and the negative and even in this case if you see most of the observation or the profit uh, is is lying which is probably uh, in hundreds or uh, you know in two digits so that's that's where you can uh, see the data distribution but uh, there are various ways by which uh, you can customize this plot and let's see them in action well the first thing is probably you may want is uh, getting rid of this particular uh, shape which is uh, coming over the distribution of the bars so for that uh, what you can do is simply say sns dot dist plot dist that's a mistake i made earlier sales dot profit kde equals to false kde or is nothing but the kernel density estimation which is producing this chart based on the density of the data 
and that shows you the chart which probably you need in, in case if you don't need this one but if you don't need the bar and you are good with shape well then in that case uh, you can set a different parameter altogether so what you can do is instead of kde you can say hist which is nothing but histogram equals to false so you what you uh, are left with is only the shape uh, and histogram is not there so these are some of the customization based on your needs of better representation of the data uh, that you want to do in a report or in a presentation that you are preparing to for the data exploration now there is one more interesting parameter um, so if I just copy this and come it over here which is uh, rug 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 equals to true um, and it shows the based on how many data points you have in that pin shows the concentration of that data set and then how many data points you are having near to these extreme values on the left side as, and on the right side so along with the shape it shows the concentration of the data so sometimes a very meaningful representation to show you or to identify where the concentration lies so probably you may want to have a cut off from here to here to better understanding of data you can also play around with bins so if I just copy that and paste it here and say let's say bins equals to 100 in this case it will show it will you know create a visualization in a bit different way but since it's an extreme value so you may not be able to see a lot of change but uh, what I'll do is I'll just remove the hist in case if it shows better information so this is a histogram and uh, I'll probably made KDE equals to false just to see the change in histogram. So if I don't have bins, an automatic bin is there. So if you observe the bar is a bit thick uh, as compared to the manual bin size that I specified. But I think uh, this will be much more meaningful if let's say we want to just understand uh, the data which is for uh, one particular category of values or one particular region. So maybe over here um, We can probably say sales dot region equals to equals to um, West if I'm not wrong Okay, so it gives us the data with little bit of different values uh, so as you can see you can make it as complex as you want like uh, I have just added sales dot region um, Maybe I can simply add and um, sales dot uh, Since it is a profit Profit should be greater than zero. I am only interested in seeing the distribution which is greater than zero and surround everything uh, over here and over here by these parentheses and now you see a different distribution altogether. So up to us how we want to customize or how we want to really use the slice and dice of the data that we are having in hand. We can make it more complex with like more having more condition which is and condition like uh, so over there if I go up um, you have uh, order quantity you may want to see only those order quantity which are which is like above 50 or maybe ship mode which is uh, like regular air or delivery truck and you have like a lot of parameters by which you can customize and go really in depth into the data and that's what usually the data scientists do uh, where they look at the data from the various perspective by slicing and dicing all right let's move on the next parameter i want to show you if i just go down there paste it sls sales dot profit and uh, let's keep everything over here it's a simple chart as you can see um, there is a parameter which is bw which is bandwidth which basically says how tightly kde really controls the estimation of the data so for example um, we by default it picks up a value and shows us an estimation by plotting this kde plot 
but we can start giving some arbitrary value for example start with 100 just all right um let's start bit plot this plot got unexpected all right my bad i think uh, that is your kde plot kde plot guess should work fine all right gives an error let's see this line 2d has no object okay rug this was related to the previous uh, test plot so if i execute this it shows you a picture which is slightly different if i just come up sns dot test plot sales dot profit if i just say that uh, this picture is comparatively more smooth if you see the the curves over here which is right now not present over here so this is basically saying like we create bins uh, it basically says uh, how tightly it controls the data or the estimation of the data and it's related to the kernel density estimation for uh, purpose of let's say smoothing and uh, seeing uh, by this sort of a smoothing and uh, tightly controlling the estimation that how the curves fit and if I just try to experiment it with 1000, you will see that it becomes like a better normal shape. So, so it's uh, it's about experimentation uh, that where you want the value of bandwidth in case you are going really deeper and uh, trying to understand change the value of bandwidth. But just wanted to show you uh, that this is a parameter which is available with the KDE plot. Sometimes statisticians. Uh, want to have it as part of the control mechanism. Okay, now let's go ahead and uh, import the scipy library, which is the final part of this video about uh, fitting or displaying the histo. Uh, I'm sorry, the the plots, the distribution plots related to the probability distributions like uh, gamma distribution or there is a normal distribution there is a chi square distribution so lot many distribution but let's experiment with two um, and see it in action so from scipy import stats all right and over here let's create a variable a um, that is np dot random variable dot it has distributions like uh, what i was referring is gamma over here um, and it will accept the two parameter uh, let's give it one and the size of the distribution let's give it like 200 and you can read about these distribution over here that it is a shape scale and size right now we are just giving a shape and the size parameter over here okay so let's execute this and uh, let's plot the, uh, the distribution so sns dot dist plot and we want to fit a now let's just pl plot a and see how it plots so this is basically the random uh, values that we have fetched from the gamma distribution and this is the uh, plot that we get but we have the parameter which is a fit parameter that helps us determine the how we want to fit this distribution so it's stats dot gamma so that's how you see the fit the another fit over here with the help of the black line and uh, this indicates the gamma distribution now um, if you are an statistician and you have a good understanding about it you will know that if i just decrease the value over here and uh, plot it again it's its value is changing becoming like more right skewed and if i'm changing it to let's say nine and again it's becoming like more towards a normal distribution so that's about uh, the problem in hand and how you want to fit the distribution but I uh, just wanted to show you the val the parameters that are available to fit the distribution um, maybe another uh, another distribution that we can fit is uh, random dot beta and it accepts the alpha and beta values and the size parameter let's keep it like 200 and sns dot test plot b um, we can say fit equals to stats dot um, this is beta all right let's execute this seaborn has no attribute all right so now 
this distribution is coming in the black line and the blue line is your KDE. If you want to hide it, you know what you need to do. I've already explained it. Comma. All right. So this is how your distribution really looks like when, when it is a beta distribution based on the random values that you are uh, getting. But this is uh, something which you can apply it uh, when on the real data based on the fit that you have uh, and see uh, based on the distribution that you have in hand uh, which which distribution it follows whether it follows the gamma distribution the beta or anyone else but this is this is a more of a theoretical concept which i'm not covering here but i want to just show you how you can visualize these probability distribution data over here and apply the parameter which is fit and uh, get it uh, in the visual form so that's about it in this video and uh, let me know uh, how did you find it and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic